Behold your mother. But why does Christ do this? Is it that he wants to distance himself from us? No. He brings us closer to himself by giving us to the one who is closest to him, the same one who directs everything to him. Do whatever he tells you. Mary wants to act upon all those who entrust themselves to her as children. And it is well known, says the Pope, that the more her children persevere and progress in this attitude, the nearer Mary leads them to the unsearchable riches of Christ. Again, this is so both because of the unique closeness of Mary to Christ and because of her special role of bringing others into the intimacy she shares with him. Tomorrow we'll see how this closeness of Mary to Christ, particularly in this consecration of himself for our sake, helps us make our own consecration to Christ. This is the whole purpose behind why we entrust ourselves to Mary. It's so she can bring us even closer to Christ through her powerful prayer, prayers and motherly love. Today's prayer. Come, Holy Spirit, living in Mary, prepare me to entrust myself completely to Mary so she can bring me closer to Christ. Thank you. 
everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome today to the 22nd week of Ordinary Time Wednesday's Communion Service. Our interest and fun. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cried out to you all day long. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of mercy to all who call to you. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. God of might, giver of every gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture us to what is good, and by your careful watch, keep us safe from what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins, and so we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, what I have done, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask us to know your virgin, all the healing saints in his name, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for today's reading. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the holy ones and faithful brothers and sisters in Christ in Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. We always give thanks to God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you. For we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and the love that you have for all the holy ones because of the hopes reserved for you in heaven. Of this you have already heard through the word of truth, the gospel that has come to you. Just as in the whole world it is bearing food and growing so along, so also among you. From the day you heard it and came to know the grace of God in truth, as you learned it from Ephesus, our beloved fellow slave, who is trustworthy minister of Christ on our behalf, who also told us of your love in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song. I trust in the mercy of God forever. I, I trust, trust in the mercy of God forever. I, like a green olive tree in the house of God, trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I, I trust, trust in the mercy, mercy of God, God forever. I will thank you always for what you have done and proclaim the goodness of your name before your faithful ones. I trust in the mercy of God forever. left the synagogue, entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, 
they intercede with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, Ahu, the people sick with various diseases, brought them with to him, laid his hands on each of them, and cured them. And demons also came out from the many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. Crowds were looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, The other towns I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. He was pre preaching in the synagogues of Judea. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. <clears throat> Today's Gospel tells us about the preaching of the good news about the kingdom of God, about the healing, the love, the mercy, and the salvation of the way that Jesus used to build up the kingdom of God. Also show God's love and providence for his people as well. In addition, Jesus also had to recharge his battery, so to speak, recharge his energy by going to an isolated place to pray to his heavenly Father. So the chapter in Luke, where our gospel is today, began with Jesus' temptations. He was in the desert for 40 days, fasting. At the end, he was able to overcome the devil, Satan. He tried to go back to Nazareth, but there he was rejected by the people. So then he traveled over to Capernaum, where he preached in the synagogues. And this is where the people were so amazed at what he was teaching and also what he had done there in terms of healing, especially the healing of a demonic. People started talking about what he was doing in the synagogues, and therefore he was kind of a local celebrity there. So now we switch to the gospel story today, where it picks up at Simon's house, where Simon's mother-in-law was ill with a high fever. They asked to intercede for her by asking if he could heal her. And so he went and he rebuked the fever and the fever left and she, she was fine and healed and then she went and served them in the house. At sunset near the Sabbath, at which time nothing could be done, but near the end of the Sabbath, at sunset, people start bringing all those that were ill with sickness or had possessions to Jesus. And Jesus laid his hands upon them, and they were all healed. And even the demons knew who Jesus was. By the end of the day, with all that he had done, Jesus was tired, spiritually, and mentally, and physically spent. And so, and most of the time, when we hear that he's, he's tired, usually he goes to some isolated remote place where he can go pray to his father. Here he tries to do the same, but unfortunately people followed him and they wanted him, wanted him to stay with them. But he told them that he could not because he had to go to all the other towns because he was sent here to preach the gospel. That was his, his responsibility. <coughs> so even though we hear that healing was the important thing in today's gospel, probably what was more important was the preaching of the gospel about the kingdom, the good news of the kingdom of God. That was his main priority. To preach the good news was an invitation for the people to hopefully achieve a salvation and eternity at the end. In addition, the proclamation of the good news to the people was also a hope that when these people heard the news, they too would become prophets and go to their places where they were from to go there and preach the gospel to the people there and also at whatever the time is that they were able to do that. Jesus healed the sick for obvious reasons because he saw that people were suffering. As we saw in the gospel reading today, the mother-in-law was suffering from high fever 
and the people that the people that were brought to him were either had a whole bunch of different sicknesses, illnesses, and also were possessed. And so he had the power to stop all this, to heal the people, and to cast out the demons, and he did that. He did that because he was compassionate. But this was not the only reason that he did the healing. The other reason he did the healing was that he was going to use these miracles to add to his ministry, and especially in what he was preaching. It was an affirmation of his teaching, of what he was trying to, to tell the people. Even if what he taught didn't give him credibility, what he did in terms of the healing did reinforce what he was trying to teach. But also, brothers and sisters, aside from, from both of those, one of the things also in order for all this to happen was faith. We know that he saw that the people visually saw what Jesus did. And they, even though they were amazed, they also obviously believed in him that there was something special about him and that he was able to take care of all these ailments that these people had. So faith to believe that God will always be there and always love us and always provide for us is important as a sign of faith. He always answers our prayers. Maybe sometimes even when he says no, you know, he does answer our prayers. Maybe not even according to how we, we expect or want things to work out because after all, he does have a greater plan for everything. And also, he also works according to his time as well, not according to ours. So, what are our life lessons today? So we are called to continue to do Jesus' mission of bearing witness to him through our daily activities. Things in terms of forgiveness, love, mercy, and humble service to others. The second thing is to be part of Jesus' healing mission. How we can do that is what we probably already do, maybe daily or all the time. So we pray for one another, we pray for others who are in need, or who, needs, or who has some, some things, ailments, sicknesses, we pray for their healing and for their well-being. And also, not just that by praying, but we also can, can do this mission by visiting with them, and spending time with them, and also encouraging those that need our help. And the third thing is, we need to re-energize and recharge ourselves by praying every day, just like Jesus, Jesus does. So, let's pray today that we continue to be disciples of Jesus, continue to do work that he started, and by, as I said, by giving of ourselves to others, and praying for those that do need our help, praying for those that we see out there that's a lot of things going on as as we as we can tell in our world today so at some point and sometime sometimes we will be tired and at, when that time comes let's take the time to go out into the desert a place of quietness a place of peace where we can spend time in prayer with our heavenly father in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, Gather us we to celebrate the good things that we have received from our God. Thus prompt in us prayers that are worthy of this hearing. For Francis our Pope, and Myron our Bishop, and all the clergy, people entrusted in their care, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who hold public office and those who assist them in promoting the good of the people, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For those who travel, whether by sea, air, or land, the captives and all those held in prison, let us pray to the Lord. 
For all of us gathered in the sacred place by faith and devotion, by love and reverence to our God, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of Afghanistan, for peace and the rights and the dignity of all the people who would be recognized and protected, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of Haiti, who are suffering from natural disaster and political turmoil, they may be strengthened and consoled, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those things that are happening in the world, the natural things that are happening, like the Calder Fire, like the hurricane in Louisiana, and also um, the flood in Tennessee, we ask for God's intervention that He may put an end to all of this, that He may give everyone the strength and the courage, especially those that are affected by all of, all of these natural disasters, we pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. Pray for those faithfully parted, especially for Kevin and Magdalena Nguyen, Ulan Salvado, the Romero Linares family, whom this communion service is being offered for today. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For all those things that we hold in our hearts today, for those whom we think about and we pray for today, let's take a moment in the silence to pray for those. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. May the petition of our church be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, so that we may receive from your mercy what we cannot and out of confidence of our own merit. Through, Lord, our, through our Lord Jesus Christ, our, our Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, let us dare to recite the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our bread, and forgive us our trespasses. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with the Spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. holy sacrament and I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you Amen.
commune Antiphon, how great is the goodness, Lord, that you kept for those who fear you. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. New by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, O Lord, that by being the food of charity, may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you and our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Amen.